Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and there is a new version of Google Chrome. After six weeks, they have now released Chrome 104 and it is starting to roll out to people today, August 2nd, 2022. So add on to your Google Chrome browser, go into the upper right corner into the three vertical dots and in here, go into help and into about Google Chrome. And you'll be moved on to 104.0.5112.81. Now this Chrome version is a version that has a few new features that have to do with uh, the different region captures uh, API. But um, for another thing is about a trial for credit card information storage that you can opt out so the browser can actually store some of the um, the credit card info if you want which I'm not sure is a good idea and they of course are using this they have one feature that a lot of people aren't very happy about um, mostly so Firefox Mozilla and um, so uh, two companies um, actually uh, that that aren't Apple Apple and Mozilla aren't happy with is a controversial web Bluetooth API um, what that means is that in this new version uh, web sites can actually ask for permission to use Bluetooth to scan for your other devices around you Say you have your phone that's connected, say you have maybe another PC or another device that has Bluetooth, it can actually uh, scan for that. Now, of course, it will ask you permission. There's a pop-up that gives you the permission, says, you know, this website wants to scan other devices. Now, Google says it's in the in making it easy to share more information, but to just um, you know, be able to use another device to do something through the web browser. Uh, and of course, having access to it through a Bluetooth, wireless Bluetooth, of course. The problem with that is that the level of security is where Apple and Mozilla are not very happy. Um, the level of security that they chose to do that isn't uh, easy to see if it's really secure and that websites cannot abuse in some way that Bluetooth connectivity to your devices. So that's where the controversy lies. But rest assured that, um, and, and that's what Google says, if a website would um, want to do that, it would ask your permission. So the browser is going to pop up. This website wants to use Bluetooth for scanning your devices you can say no and it's just going to stop there um i don't know about it uh it i i can see the advantage of wanting to do it but i can also see why some are a little scared that chrome and your pc might start snooping on your devices around you um that is to see how where it goes at some point uh that's for sure apart from that um, there are 27 security flaws in Chrome, 27. And if you don't care about the new features, one of the things you should be caring about is those 27 uh, features. By the way, the version number, uh, because we're going to talk about that, it happens often. Uh, and actually, Google does give the version number. Uh, version number that I show you is of course uh, ends with version 81 here um, but they say that it can end in 79 80 or 81 depending on the computer on windows and on mac and linux it's uh, ends at 79. so um, 27 security fixes there's a lot of high severity fixes in here too um, there's one with uh, safe browsing problems one with the Omnibox. Uh, there's one that manages the devices. Um, anything else that I could see here? There's a nearby share problem. Um, 
there's inappropriate implementation of the full screen API. So there's a leakage, side, side channel leakage in the keyboard input, uh, which is medium. So uh, there's a lot of little things happening in here with 27 fixes. So that means that if you don't really care for the new features, at least update for the 27 fixes to stay safe on your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.